Happy Sabbath, Happy New Year to all of you. I want to take this opportunity, first of all, to give God thanks for sparing our lives to see a brand new year. Again, friends, it, it grants us the opportunity to have a personal relationship with Christ and to improve <clears throat> our relationship with Him. If we, if we already have one. On this, the first Sabbath of 2015, I am begging, asking, inviting all, all of you to attend church today, the 3rd of January 2015. Let the year find you doing the right thing in God's house with God's people on God's holy day, praising God, lifting up the name of Christ, praising God, giving Him thanks, asking for forgiveness and sins, for His divine protection and guidance throughout this new year. If you are an Adventist especially, you should find yourself in church today. Make a sacrifice for Jesus. He's made many for you. If you're a backslider, front slider, side slider, or no slider, or any slider, the voice of God says, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18, He says, Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like Simpson, crimson, they shall be as the wool. <clears throat> that's the invitation God has for us for this brand new year Isaiah went on to say in Isaiah 55 verse 6 and 7 seek ye the Lord while he may be found call ye upon him while he is near let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts and return unto God even unto our God for he will have mercy and will abundantly pardon right and in Second uh, Corinthians 6 verse 2 Paul says Behold now is the accepted time Behold today is the day of salvation Friend You can have a, a, a life changing experience In an instant So don't take it for granted Don't take it for granted The devil is out there Want to kill you off To destroy you Preventing you from inherit eternal life Don't continue to gamble with your eternal soul salvation Hebrews chapter 2 verse 4 uh, here the Paul says to them how shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation come now let us reason together said the Lord though your sins be as scarlet they shall be as white as snow though they be red like crimson they shall be as a pure wool so friend the most urgent need we have is a revival in our hearts and soul that personal relationship with Jesus to be committed to him we need to make that commitment not just to a church the Adventist church or any other church but to Jesus Christ and to intentionally decide to walk and talk with him to obey him to live our lives in accordance with the law and will of God Almighty so that we will find a shelter in the time of storm because believe me the storm is going to break and every man have a time every man have a time so don't wait friend don't wait the people in Asia, Air Asia airline had no time they did not know that it will be their final flight they did not know and so many others have died since the new year began we don't know when our number will call so that's why we have to be ready for in the hour that we think not the Son of Man will call you. And if you don't have the blood of Christ applied to the doorpost of your heart, you are doomed for hell. Eternal lake of fire. Torment. Read Revelation chapter uh, 14 and verse somewhere about verse 9 to 14. You will see what's going to happen to the unsaved. You don't want to be in that. That's why I preach and I will continue to preach to help me God. Because I want to be saved. I believe the gospel of Christ. I want all my children to be saved, my ex-wife to be saved, my mother, my brethren, my co-workers, my friends, everybody friend who I come in contact with. My most urgent desire 
is for you to give your life to Christ, to be saved. We may strengthen each other and move on because time is short. The people in Noah's days laughed when Noah preached 120 years. They mocked him, they scorned him, and never knew until the flood came and took them all away. The people in Sodom and Gomorrah make, make mockery of Lot when he told them to repent because God was going to destroy the city with fire. Today we find similar things. Uh, corruption, crime, violence, evil, even the pulpit. There are so much pimps and crooks using the name of God to make money, to enrich themselves, to oppress the poor and enslave people. So much filthy men and women in the pulpit using as a cover-up to, procre to procreate their evil practices upon innocent people. You know, so we, we, we need to know Christ for ourselves. We need to read the Bible. Live on our knees to ask God for guidance and protection. So that, friend, God has called us into holiness. We, make, we need to make sure that we are experiencing new birth. As Jesus proclaimed to Nicodemus, John chapter uh, 3, 3 to 5, Except be born again, no man can enter the kingdom of God. The new birth, no matter how you know scripture, no matter how you pray, no matter how you uh, go to church, give tithes and offering, and pretend to be righteous, until you experience a new birth, a change in character, a spiritual re re renewal, you can't make it into the God's kingdom. We need to understand that and every day fervently ask God to have that experience where we are changed from glory to glory. Our hearts and minds become pure. Because Jesus says, Matthew chapter 5, verse 8, Only the pure in heart shall see God. And in Psalms 24, he says, Only they that have clean hands and a pure heart shall enter into the kingdom of God. It is our desire, friend, to do that. And only that can only come through the grace of God. Ephesians 2, verse 8, For by grace are we saved through faith, not of works, lest any man should boast. So don't worry about the big evangelists and those who are talking about their minister to thousands. You just need to minister to the ones who you come in contact with, starting in your household first, in your family. Show forgiveness, love, respect, patience, long-suffering, perseverance under the manner and spirit of Christ Jesus. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and give you peace now and forevermore. Amen.